Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Orlando Magic. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And we're pleased to have on the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much, Kevin. Well, Cole Anthony has made a name for himself when it comes to hitting cold-blooded game winners. He said, I do this, man. I was bred for this. I'm not the type to go high. I live for these ending moments in games. Crunch time, that's my time. Guys? I just like his dad right next to me. David, thank you very much. Here's what the Timberwolves have lined up on their schedule. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. A look at the starting group for the Magic. They've got Wagner. Suggs out there with Anthony. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Carter in at the power forward. And for the Timberwolves, we've got D'Angelo Russell. Towns is out there with Anthony Edwards. And it's Noel in at the shooting guard. ADB, the new season, always a time for optimism. No question, Kevin, and the quest to get better and to do more, a sentiment that's go. felt beyond just the world of sports. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Anthony against Russell. Out to the right wing. Pass to Noel. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Just five on the clock. Out to Edwards. That three off the mark. And here is Anthony. Passes to Carter. Out to the right wing. Here's Suggs. And he starts out with a miss in this one. the pass to Russell. Outside, Towns. Out to Russell. It's hauled in by the Magic. This, their first chance to take a look at Minnesota this season. Not exactly a game that everyone will be talking about here, but both of these teams can show flashes at times. We're seeing two teams that could be building more for the future, trying to instill a winning culture, and we'll see which team takes a step in that direction. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now, here's Suggs. Here's Wagner. And the shot falls short this time. Edwards looking it over. Russell against Anthony. Right side Towns. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Real strength and the ability and willingness to embrace, absorb, and finish through contact. Carl Anthony Towns. And Anthony Edwards, the top pick of 2020. Not the most polished player early on, but his ceiling is through the roof. Here's Noel. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved.
taking a switch hit. Beverly's check in. Now let's take a look at the most efficient scores in the NBA from last year's campaign. Third is Robin Lopez. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. And here on the first, approaching three minutes played. Pass to Wagner. He kicks to Suggs. Five on the clock. Orlando needs to get off a shot. And here's Anthony for three. Minnesota with the rebound. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes into points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Takes it inside. And the rejection by Town. Edwards drives in. Towns down low, defended by Carter. Towns with the bucket. Dominant on the boards. Carl Anthony Towns knows I can get points on the board by getting to the offensive glass. Anthony against Towns. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, one of us here knows Cole Anthony quite well. The guy to my side here, Greg, is uh, Dan. Care to share with us a story about your son playing hoops growing up? Well, I, I tell you one thing. He's always had that belief. Take a break. That Take inner a break. belief in his himself and his abilities. And, that's something that started early on in his life, and honestly, that's when I knew he had a chance to be a really good player. The first one falls. And both free throws good for Anthony. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Edwards with it. Last game we saw him score 14. And that one is off. Good D by Lopez. The Magic trail by four. Now Wagner kicks it to Suggs. Pass to Carter. And here's Wagner. He's coming off a 16-point game against Detroit. And guys, he was also huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. Now here's Beverly. Wendell Carter unable to get his last shot to go. Beverly, the pass to Russell. Passes it to Beverly. Towns a screen on Carter. Russell dishes to Towns. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Towns does so many things well on the floor, Doris, but you can't forget about his rebound. Right, this guy puts up huge rebounding totals every night. You can pencil him in for double digits every night on the backboards. This guy can anchor your team's rebounding. First free throw is good. In Towns, not known for his rim protection, but he's improved in that area recently, challenging and changing more shots. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Bamba is checked in for Lopez, and Isaac subbed in for Carter. That one misses. And with Towns, Greg, you knew he had the potential for rim defense, and it became a focus for him. Yeah, and, and a lot of defense is putting in the effort. Credit Towns for improving in that area. And we'll see if he can take another step defensively. Here's Beverly. Jalen Suggs making his last shot. And Beverly kicks to Edwards. Bangs home the trifecta. Well, don't think twice. Ball touches your hands. You let it go, Anthony Edwards. 
Here's Anthony. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Detroit. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact with the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. Some changes for Minnesota. Naz Reed, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Akogi comes in for Edwards. And it's Malik Beasley in for Russell. Orlando also making some changes. Terrence Ross is checked in for Wagner. Gary Harris comes in for Suggs. And Markel Fultz is subbed in for Anthony. Isaac finds Bamba. Bamba setting the pick for Fultz. And the rejection by Towns. Perfect timing on that rejection, boy. Towns really improving on the defensive end. Towns a screen on Fultz. Beasley with a clean look. And again, Minnesota with the triple. Oh, great ball movement there. And so it's Fultz who brings up the ball for Orlando. They trail by nine points. Isaac gets to Fultz. Bamba setting the pick for Fultz. And the rejection by Towns. Beverly the pass to Akogi. Timberwolves passing it around. The pass to Reed over in the corner, Beverly. Towns a screen on Bamba. Beverly dishes to Towns. For three, Akogi. That one, no good. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Bamba a screen on Beverly. Bamba kicks to Harris. Over Beasley. Another miss by Orlando. Minnesota leading by nine. Pass to Town. Beverly finds Towns. Has to read. Inside. Pamba with the block. That is a combination of length and defensive instincts. Send it back, Mo Bamba. Passes it to Fultz. Bamba a screen on Beverly. They need this one. Drives to the hoop. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Fultz against Beverly. Here's Beasley. That one off the back iron and out. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Back to Fultz. Thomas has a screen. With the crossover, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Josh Okogi. For this chance, I'll show you the league's most intimidating shot blocking defenses from last season. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. Well, an important element of their defense is the ability to intimidate. I mean, their stellar shot blocking last year accomplished that in a big time way. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Well, you think into Markel Fultz's early part of his career, he was under such scrutiny as the number one overall pick. This guy starting to prove how valuable he can be. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Minnesota. McDaniels comes in for Josh Okogi, then for the Magic. Okiki comes in for Terrence Ross, and it's Hampton for Gary Harris. And so Fultz nails them both. Timberwolves leading by five. Beverly, the pass to Beasley. Now Reed. And Beverly kicks to Prince. Shot clock at five. Jacks up a three. And it's sent back by Isaac. You can see the long wingspan of Jonathan Isaac coming into play twice on the pipes.
Williams, that's for two. Well, he's got tremendously long arms, so Jonathan Isaac's so good at contesting that shot. To the inside. Hampton passes to Fultz. There's the dish to Bamba. Six on the shot clock. Now, here's Hampton. Tight defense on him. Timberwolves leading by five. Down low, here's Prince. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It goes on Muhammad Bamba. One of the hardest things to deal with with Torian Prince is trying to match his energy. This guy goes all out every time. Taking two shots. And that one falls for Prince. What we know about Torian Prince is he's a terrific competitor who knows he's going to lay it all out on the floor every night. For coaches, that is such an invaluable trait. Both free throws good for Prince. The Magic trail by seven. Now here's Hampton. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here he goes. Reed with the clock. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Russell is checked in for the Timberwolves. Now the pass to Hampton. Shot clock at six. Isaac with a screen for Hampton. Rebound, Minnesota. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that deep. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now here's Prince. He feeds it to McDaniels. Beasley left side. Rebounded by Isaac. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Fultz, no good. From deep three-point range, and so it's Minnesota bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Team Terrence Ross, mindful of the franchise's history. T Mac, Shaq, Kenny, you know, even Dwight and them, you know, it's just a great city to be in. You know, they have great fans here and uh, they made some historic runs here. So it's exciting to, you know, be somewhere there's a lot of history and there's a lot of guys that come through here. So uh, I'm just happy to be a part of the organization. And we know this is Ross's sixth season in a Magic uniform. And Kevin, he's found his niche as a bench scorer and veteran presence. Good to have those steady and influences on a roster, even as a team goes young. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Hey guys, what's your take so far on the Timberwolves? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. And so in the game for the Magic, we've got Carter. Anthony is out there with Hampton. Then there's Wagner. And it's Okiki in at the four slot. Now oh, here's Edwards. Cole Anthony unable to get his last shot to go in. 
Edwards with it. A floater. Doesn't go for him. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Here's Carter. The rebound by Prince. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. And Wendell Carter Jr., not the biggest center, Greg, listed at 6'10". That most reports would have him pegged at 6'9". And, and Carter Jr. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Carter outside. Pass to Hampton. Here's the screen. Into the lane. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. It's ironic that while the league took refuge in Orlando to complete the 2020 season, the Magic has had no reprieve from the rash of injuries that affected its top young players the last few years. This team is well coached and plays hard. Hopefully their fortunes will change when it comes to health. Guys? All right, David, thank you. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Prince dishes to Edwards. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now it's an 11-point Minnesota lead. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Who wants a free pizza? Make some noise! All right, what who's coming onto the court? Come on and get loud for your Minnesota Timberwolves Dexter! Minnesota making some changes. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Reed. Vanderbilt comes in for Torian Prince. And Akogi subbed in for McDaniel. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Robin Lopez is checked in for Wendell Carter. Terrence Ross comes in for Okiki. Harris is checked in for Hampton. And it's Suggs in for Cole Anthony. The Magic trail by 11. Now Suggs. High post Lopez. Towns on him. Lopez kicks to Suggs. Lopez a screen. Six to shoot. Another miss by Orlando. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Outside, Russell has to Vanderbilt. Russell a screen on Ross. Here's Vanderbilt, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. And there's the goal on Carl Anthony Towns. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal foul. 
The Magic trail by 11. Suggs passes to Wagner. He kicks it to Ross. Orlando moving the ball around. And here's Wagner. Harris. And it's going to be a goaltending ball here, so they'll count the bucket. And Doris is a point guard running the show. When you look at options on the floor around you, your teammates, at what other position would you most like another big-time player? You know, Kevin, I'm not sure I'm going to define it necessarily by shooting guard, small forward, power forward, or center. I think what I would say is it's always great to play with guys who have the ability to think the game quickly and at a high level because those who can think it and combine that with skill are the most dangerous guys on the floor. Here's Vanderbilt. Back to Russell. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Harris. Suggs in the corner. Lopez, a screen on Russell. On the left block, and the rejection by Towns. Beverly against Harris. There's the drive. Out of bounds, Orlando takes possession. Hey, checking out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. A very nice season for him last year. He was around 19 points per game last year. Six assists and two rebounds. And, and most important of all is his passing. He's a terrific distributor in their offense. But certainly one of his best attributes, creating offense even when it looks like there's nothing there. Here's Suggs. Vanderbilt with the block. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Towns sets the pick for Russell. Towns down low. Lopez is there. Good D by Lopez. The Magic trail by nine. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Lopez sets a screen for Suggs. Wagner finds Lopez. Sends over Towns. Bears another block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Now here is Harris. Pass to Suggs. Over to the wing. Wagner kicks to Ross. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, Terrence Ross in his comfort zone from distance. This guy has always had the eye of a sharp shooter. Russell passes to Towns. And the dunk by Towns. Incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Now a timeout called by Orlando. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated.
Patrick Beverly. The Magic also changing it up. Ahmed Bamba, he's checked in for Lopez. Jonathan Isaac comes in for Wagner. And it's Fultz in for Suggs. Here's Bamba. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Pistons in Detroit. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Six on the shot clock. Here's Harris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And they like what Harris gives them defensively. Good awareness and toughness. I mean, he stays in front of ball handlers. Sometimes he gets hedged in pick and roll by bigger players. But overall, very sound defensively. Shooting two. That's good from Harris. And Harris drops them both. So it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They've led by as many as 11 points. For three, Beasley. Ross grabs the board. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Back to Fultz. Bamba a screen on Beasley. Here's Fultz, and finished off by Fultz. Well, this is what's evolving over time, right? Markel Fultz running the pick and roll, such a precise play. Russell against Fultz. There's a screen. It's Russell with the drive. Good on the shot. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Fultz kicks to Isaac. Back to Fultz. Bamba setting the pick for Fultz. Sweet move. Here he goes. Well, you can see the handle by Markel Fultz. The, the explosion, the dribble drive ability. That is a nice move. Beasley with it. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Denver. Here's Towns. And Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Two minutes remaining in the half. Two minutes. 158 left in the second quarter. A nice shot Gary by Harris. Harris. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Vanderbilt the pass to Russell. The pass to Vanderbilt. Just five to shoot. It's over Isaac, and Bamba pulls it down. Bamba's got eight rebounds in this game. Harris kicks to Fultz. One fifteen left in the first half of the game. Bamba sets a screen. Here's Harris. Got a piece of it. Minnesota making some changes. Reed comes in for Towns. And it's McDaniels in for Vanderbilt. And the Magic making a change here as well. Anthony's checked in for Harris. So the Timberwolves call their first time out.
Timberwolves making a switch. Prince has checked in. Carter, he's checked in for the Magic. Okiki comes in for Terrence Ross. second. Al Beasley kicks to Prince. Dishes it to Russell. Bucket six. Prince with a screen on him. Russell with the bucket. Russell's got six. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. 35 seconds left in the first half. Russell against Anthony. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Reeves got his fourth rebound in this one. McDaniels passes to Prince. And here's Beasley. And Russell gets it to go on the assist by Beasley. And now a five-point Minnesota lead. Driving inside. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. They've led by as many as 11 points. It's Russell with the drive. Count that bucket. He's got 10. They're beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. D'Angelo Russell getting it done for Minnesota. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Carl, you guys have built a lead. What is the key to maintaining or increasing it going it forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. We had the advantage in the first half. We'll see if you can keep that advantage in the second half. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Greetings, everybody. Before we review the first half, let's take an early season peek at how the Western Conference is shaking out so far. You know, right now for Minnesota, they've been pretty much the team we thought they'd be. They've been kicking into high gear mode every night. I like how they don't take lesser teams for granted. It's a matter of keeping it up for the long haul. And guys, looking at the first half, how about Carl Anthony Towns making a big time impact so far? His presence on the defensive end has been something else. Swatting away everything, denying people to the rim, rebounding, that kind of aggression can really drain your opponent's willpower. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. third quarter of basketball for you two quarters in the books you look at d'angelo russell what a contribution man he's been running wild on him through that first half absolute dynamite on offense boy he has been shouldering the load aggressive skilled talented and thus far unstoppable Magic trail by seven. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, we've got D'Angelo Russell. Anthony Edwards out there with Carl Anthony Town. And it's Vanderbilt in at the fourth to the middle. And he jams it with authority. Loving the energy right now here in the third quarter as they try to take control of this game. You know, possessions like that will help them feel good going into that final quarter. And Doris, we know that Anthony Edwards has given numerous head-turning quotes, but that's just who he is. That's right. One of the most candid players in the league. 
caught some media off guard when he said he saw himself as a football player. But this guy's got big time personality. Towns against Lopez. Towns down low. Good D by Lopez. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Wagner finds Anthony. Lopez outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Anthony. A three ball. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Edwards got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Russell with it. Now Anthony defending. Russell passes to Noel. Up top, Russell, covered by Anthony. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. Now, here's Suss. D right on him. Count it. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. Russell dishes to Edwards. Towns sets the pick for Edwards. Into the lane. And it's Wagner with the rebound. Wagner's got four rebounds in this game. Anthony kicks to Suggs. Pass to Carter. And he drops in the way up off the glass. And now just a five-point Timberwolves lead. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Side Edwards comes up empty down low. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Pass the Carter to the inside. Here's Lopez. That one falls Lopez, coming off Lopez. Carter's feet. Lopez has got his first two points. You know, that's good hands on display from Lopez right there, getting it up and down from inside. There's Russell with the three. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the four this game, now six for ten. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Russell against Anthony. Passes it to Suggs. Over Towns. And with that shot, the Minnesota Leafs got down to four on the bucket from Suck. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. comes in for Noel. Then for the Magic. Bamba is checked in for Lopez. Harris comes in for Wendell Carter. And it's Hampton for Anthony. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Russell passes to Towns. Back to Russell. 
And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. 15 points for D'Angelo Russell. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. The pass to Wagner from the arc. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got four rebounds now tonight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jalen Suggs. That is his first foul of the game. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Here's Russell. Outside Edwards. Pass to Tao. Five to shoot. There's a good screen. Can we remember that Mo Bamba has a seven foot ten wingspan? That will alter a shot or two. Gary and he Harris. gets it to go. Assisted Nine by. points for Gary Bob Harris. Bob. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Outside Russell. With the drive and block. That one goes careening off the glass. An even three on three break. Let's a floater go. And the rejection by Town from outside the arc. And it's Russell missing. The Magic trail by four. And here is Sub. He's got six. to Bamba. Shoots the three. Rebound Minnesota. Russell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Just can't find a shot. It's no wonder they're losing. I mean, he's been completely scoreless all night. Here's a Kobe. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And checking out numbers for Beverly. Some last season stats for him. Put up about seven points a game. Three rebounds and two assists. I mean, the numbers aren't bad on their own, but but he knows that he can help this team in a bigger way. And sometimes it comes down to the flow of the oh, offense. Take a break. One night a it's break. your night, another two night shots. perhaps it's somebody else's. And he knocks down the first one. Guys, when we think of Josh Okpogi, the athleticism is eye-popping, and the relentlessness with which he plays a game, that will be what keeps him on the floor. Here's what Minnesota's going with right now. Reed comes in for Carl Anthony Towns, and it's Beasley in for D'Angelo Russell. Isaac's checked in for Orlando. Terrence Ross comes in for Suggs. Good on both. The Magic trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To the paint. Harris inside. Edwards defending. Down to five on the shot clock. Isaac a screen on Beverly. Here's Hampton. Reed with the block. With him scoreless in the latter part of this one, it's awfully hard to come back. Here's Beasley. And R.J. Hampton is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Minnesota. Prince is checked in for a Kobe. And it's McDaniels in for Edwards. And a change for the Magic. Okiki's checked in for Gary Harris. the ball. No points in the game yet for him. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Magic trail by six. Now Hampton. 
And it's Jaden McDaniels with the foul. Jaden McDaniels. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Bamba passes to Ross. Now, here's Hampton. Defended by Beverly. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. The Magic have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. Shooting for a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all around effort. He's off on the first. Wow. Well, what, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and he sinks the second. Here's Beverly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. This is it to Reed. Five on the clock. Ross with the steal. And here we go. Hampton heading to the hoop. And the dunk by Hampton. How about that tremendous defense leading to the points? Ross stays alert, makes the steal, and goes right on the attack. And I love how versatile Terrence Ross is. A wing that scores, rebounds, passes, and defends it. And his athleticism is absolutely incredible. This guy can get up near the cup and can turn it on and score in a hurry. And here's Isaac. He'll bring it up for Orlando. It's a three-point game. Loss against Beasley. And there's the pass to Okiki. Two minutes remaining in the third. Lock it four. Two minutes. Here's Isaac. And the shot goes in. Jonathan Isaac. Now just a one-point Minnesota lead. This is encouraging to see Jonathan Isaac finish through contact. He obviously will fill out that frame and add some weight, but the balance really impressive. And here is Hampton. Pass to Isaac. 131 left in the third. Isaac with a screen for Hampton. He kicks to Bamba for the lead. Beasley with the rebound. Beasley's got his fourth rebound in this one. McDaniels passes to Beverly. Down low. Bamba with the block. Now here's Ross. Not a lot of room. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. RJ Hampton. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. They get a hand on it. Beasley with the steal. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Kicks it to Beverly. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third. Just five to shoot. To end the cold streak. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pass to Hampton. 23 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Beasley against Isaac. Over Beasley. That one a little long. Beverly looking around. Inside. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Yeah, Patrick Beverly making it easy for his teammate to score. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tough whole game here. Timberwolves lead by three. And we'll get it going after this from the target center.
And how about a look now at our assist to the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter, what is still anybody's ballgame. Minnesota leading by three on the court for Orlando. Wagner is out there with Wendell Carter. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Suggs. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Here's Anthony. They are right on the brink of taking the lead. This is an absolutely critical juncture in this game. Here's Carter. Takes it off the glass. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Easily outside. Outside, Towns. Towns, a screen on Anthem. Here's Russell. They get the rebound. Towns. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. Carl Anthony Towns. Taking two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Carl Anthony Towns, one of those five men that you can play in a big lineup, you can play in a small lineup. Because of the diversity of his offensive game, you can mix his spots on the floor. So important. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Vanderbilt's checked in. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, That'll help them seal the deal. Now, here's Suggs. Edwards defending. Trying to get open is Lopez. And it's Suggs missing. And so Edwards will bring it up for the Timberwolves. They've led by as many as 11 points. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Anthony against Russell. Here's Suggs. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Now I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. Outside Edwards. Rebound by the Magic. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Passes it to Anthony. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Jumps up. Rips down the breakaway swing. Oh, boy, this guy is dynamic in the open floor. You love when Josh Okoge uses his defense to generate offense. That is nicely done. Here's Sutton. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Minnesota leading by five. It's Edwards on the wing. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Downs dishes to Russell. And a miss there on the triple. The Magic have gone 104 since the end of the third quarter. Wagner kicks to Anthony. He dishes it to Carter. It's tipped. Russell with it. Now Anthony defending. Outside Russell. The three-pointer no good. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Now the pass to Suggs. Lopez outside. Six to shoot. 
They could use a bucket and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one is on top. Yeah, a skilled free throw shooter for his size, so you love Lopez getting to the line. Shooting for Orlando, Robin Lopez taking two shots. He misses the free throw. You know, with Robin Lopez, a career mid-70s free throw shooter, we'll take that any time from the center position. And the second free throw, good. That one miss was huge. He had a chance to turn this into a one-possession game. As to Edwards. Just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Hard work pays off right there. Anthony Edwards finds himself in the paint and draws contact. At the line for Minnesota, Anthony Edwards. At the line for two. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Well, Anthony Edwards has the kind of frame and skill set that can make him a force, but it all comes down to paying the price and putting in the work now. So he hits one of two from the strike. You know, he may be kicking himself for that one miss, but establishing the two-possession lead was key. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Let's remember, Anthony Edwards is 6'5 with a 6'9 wingspan. Those long arms, very difficult to deal with defensively. Draws the contact there. Two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wagner. Ball's knocked loose. He kicks it to Suggs. Just five on the clock. 13 feet away. They get it back. And that one's good, Wagner. And you can just see by the way he fought for the putback that he's still got a lot of gas in the tank. And doing that kind of dirty work down low makes a huge difference in a game this close. What a play on the offensive glass. The kick out to town. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Russell against Anthony. To the middle. Oh, here is Edwards. Gets the front of the rim and out. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. And it's Carter missing. Timberwolves leading by four. Here's a Kogi. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Jalen Suggs. Uh, what you love about Josh Kogi is there's a level of aggression, and in this instance, physicality to draw the foul. Taking two shots. Oh, 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one is off. Ahmed Bamba, he's checked in for the Magic. Good on the second free throw. The Magic trailed by five. Anthony looking it over. Passes to Bamba. Poke loose. Back to Russell. There's the dish to Edwards. Driving the lane. Over Suggs. Here's Towns. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Franz Wagner. Yeah, this guy is just such a load to handle. Carl Anthony Towns spends a lot of time shooting free throws. At the line for two. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Towns. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for Minnesota. And so he hits both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Anthony against Russell. Outside Anthony. There's the pass to Bamba. Drills the three-pointer. Bamba's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Zero hesitation, guys. You just marvel at centers like Mo Bamba. The ability to knock down jumper after jumper. Bang! Your with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thanks, David. And here's Beverly. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Outside town. Oh. Oh. Carl Anthony Towns entered the league as a force in scoring the basketball. Now he's honing his passing skills. 
Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Now a timeout called by Orlando. And with the length Vanderbilt has, Doris, he can be a handful. Very impactful. Yeah, he can. That wingspan on a power forward frame. He's got the opportunities now to let that work pay off. This guy is fearless on the floor. the pass to Bamba. Anthony against Russell. Anthony with it. Pass to Wagner. Six on the shot clock. Over Edwards. And it's Wagner missing. Minnesota leading by six. Pass to Russell. Towns sets the pick for Russell, takes it inside. Oh man, how good is he at turning on the Jets and getting to that next level? D'Angelo Russell, fearless, driving on the interior. Now, here's Suggs, defended by Beverly. And that one is good for Suggs. i tell you, he picked a tough time to start struggling. Only one of six from the field here Timeout in the fourth quarter. For
Pass to Beverly. Suggs with the steal. Ogner with it. Edwards there. Now Suggs. In the corner, Bamba with it. And out of bounds is the Timberwolves gain possession. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. Timberwolves leading by six. Russell finds Edwards. Shoots over Wagner. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Vanderbilt with the block and they'll get another chance two minutes remaining in the game now two here's minutes. Suggs defense is right there on the clock a three pointer is right on target now just a three point Timberwolves lead and that was the right call when you need a basket go to the guys you trust the most well you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots nice delivery there Magic timeout call. Fans, the loudest section gets free t-shirt. Let's see who's the loudest. Fans, your Timberwolves dancer. Minute 42 left to play here in the fourth. Now, here's Suggs. Defended by Beverly. Shot clock at six. Here's Suggs. That one, no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. They've led by as many as 11 points. Anthony against Russell. Towns a screen on it. 13 feet away. And it's Russell missing. The Magic trailed by five. 103 left in the fourth quarter. And it's good. Two points. You know, assume to me they were shying away from a foul there. The D still has to be a little bit more physical than that. He's got to feel you. The 11 foot. And Bamba pulls it down. <laughs> it almost looked like that spin left him a little dizzy. Didn't have a very steady hand there on the attempt. Now, here's Suggs. Defense right on him. Anthony on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's 14 seconds left in the game. Towns a screen on him. Here's Russell. 
And the shot is long. Time to call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're behind by three. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? And with this much time, they should be able to draw up a play and get themselves a decent look from the three-point line. Still, the D is going to be waiting for it in a contested three. Never an easy shot. But a three will do here. You've got to keep your composure and execute to get a quality look from three. from deep three-point territory. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we'll get it going after this from the Target Center.
glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. And so in the game for the Timberwolves. Andrew Beverly out there with Russell. Then there's Anthony Edwards. Then there's Towns. And it's Vanderbilt in at the four. Robin Lopez. That's his third personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. One shot. One shot. So it's Anthony bringing it up for Orlando. They trail by three. Now here's Wagner. Edwards defending. Driving in. And it's Wagner missing. Timberwolves shooting just 33%. Struggling to get good looks. Russell. Downs trying to get open. Russell no good. The Magic trail by three. And here is Anthony. Lopez, a screen on Edwards. Here's Wagner. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that 10th. And this is what D'Angelo Russell does out here, right? He's a dynamic scorer who doesn't lack for confidence. The pass to Carter. Now, here's Sharp. He's covered closely, and that one drops short. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And the Timberwolves all time. All time out. Time and 90 seconds gone here on what has been a great one so far. Edwards with it. He's picked up by Lopez. And that strength and concentration from Anthony Edwards. Yes, there's contact. Doesn't bother him. Here's Suggs. The 
dishes to Lopez. Shot clock at five. Good ball movement here by the match. Here's Wagner. Misses off the left iron. Timberwolves leading by six. Russell kicks to Beckham. Back to Russell. Towns trying to get open. And it's Russell missing. Orlando, they've gone one of four from the field in the overtime period so far. Now, here's Suggs. Defended by Beverly. And the rejection by Towns. Outside, Russell. Down low, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Now, here's Sun. He's guarded close. Lopez, a screen on Edwards. Once again, off the mark, Orlando. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. Russell finds Towns. Edwards with it. And it's Carter Powell. Oh, that Ooh. was something else. <laughs> and it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Timberwolves. And I guess they waited for overtime to break out the big guns. It's not even close in this extra period. And funny that after four quarters uh, of really looking like this was a, a pick em game, overtime was a complete beatdown. I, I can't say that I saw that coming. And it'll mark their fourth win on the year, actually their fifth win on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. A very solid win indeed. And when you check out the box, there were some great numbers for Carl Anthony Towns. Boy, I have loved this guy's energy all night. There was never a point in which he let up. The triple-double evidence of the kind of effort and skill he has. Russell against Anthony. Now, here is Russell. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. They escape with a victory, although they need an extra period to get it done. Yeah, but what a great game. I mean, both teams, I felt like, gave it their all. But when it came to OT, it was just all about sheer determination. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrin, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Carl Anthony Towns.